Well, other entertainment found this weekend is found up in the high country. Central City Opera once again is hitting the high notes all summer. Here with the lineup, I have Valerie Hamlin and Elise Sandell. Nice to see you, girl. Nice to Thank see you for you. being here. Yeah. So talk about all the different uh, operas that are happening yes. this summer, Valerie. So if you're not familiar with Central City Opera, we're a summer festival in Central City, about an hour outside of Denver. Uh, this is our 83rd year, if you can believe that. We open tomorrow night, July 11th, and go through August 9th. Uh, we open with La Traviata. It's a Giuseppe Verdi opera, one of the most popular in the entire repertoire. It's a great story of tragic love, and it has all the oh, nice. all the arias that you will recognize, the drinking song, and um, it's it's really it's a like great an show. emotional roller coaster when you see something like that. It's so fun and so entertaining. You can yes. go to centralcityopera.org for more information or to buy tickets. That's 303-292-6700. You're even taking a few shows on the road. That's right. So after this weekend, we open Man of La Mancha, which is the Don Quixote story, a play within a play, has the impossible dream, the song that a lot of people know in it. Yes. Um, that's also going to be at the Central City Opera House in Central City, but then we're taking two of our one-act operas, which are in English, and one act means it's shorter, so uh -huh. it's about an hour long. Um, the Prodigal Son, about a wayward son, is a church parable. Uh, and then another Don Quixote story, Don Quixote and the Duchess. Um, that is going to, the, both of those are going to go on the road, and they're going to go to Fort Collins in Colorado Springs, mm -hmm. and, and also why, in Central City. So. Why do something like this? Well, so for the past several years, we've been really trying to reach out um, to new audiences. And we did that last year with, two, with a show in, in Denver with Sound of Music. And mm -hmm. um, this year, we're trying to reach some different communities. And we're bringing our opera to them, because we know it's sometimes difficult to get to Central City. So. We're really trying to reach new people in new places. And you have a Power Women project. What is that about? We do. The Power of Women, it's surrounding La Traviata, the powerful woman that um, the story is all about and mm -hmm. how she uses her power. Um, and so we've been trying to engage with the community for the past couple of years in really kind of doing relevant things within the community surrounding our, our shows. So. Um, there are still issues with women today, and mm -hmm. we want to engage the community by talking about them. So we've done several panel discussions throughout the spring and summer, uh, an arts panel and, a, and a, pa a panel with powerful women in Denver. Interesting. Yeah. And so. Elise, opening weekend for La Triviata is happening uh, this weekend, right? Yes. We kind of got the idea of what the story is about, but what do you hope to convey as the stage director of the show? Well, so the main character of La Traviata is Violetta Valeri. She's a courtesan, and I'm really looking to convey the world that surrounds her and the things that affect the decisions that she makes and her strength. She makes a great sacrifice for her love. She gives up a lot for him and I'm really looking to tell that story that surrounds her. What is your role as stage director? Do you work with all of the actors? Well, the short version is I stand around and I tell the opera singers where to go and what to do. <laughs> <Right there. laughs> but the long version is that I work with all these different collaborators at the company along with our conductor and and the designers to affect everything that you see from the lighting and the costumes to the action that the singers are taking on stage and all of that coming together to perform to become one dramatic right. whole. La Traviata is one of the most romantic and one of the greatest romances around. It's so popular. Why do you think people love this show so much? You know, people still fall in love today, and people still make sacrifices for their love. And that, and you know, courtesan, a courtesan is kind of a tricky business. It's basically right. a classy prostitute. And people are fascinated by finding out about that life and about what happens to a person when they give that life up. My goodness, kind of like a pretty woman, isn't mm -hmm. it? It isn't sort of is. That story is very similar to the story of La Traviata. Quickly, mm -hmm. we have like 20 seconds yeah, left. If sure. somebody hasn't experienced an opera, why Central City Opera? Oh, well, I mean, it's a, it's a very intimate place. It was built in 1878, uh, 550 seats, a historic opera house. It's really, I think, the best place in the world to see opera because you're right there and uh, there's not a bad seat in the house. It's very intimate, you're right there with the, with the performers. Perfect. Perfect. So, Thank you yeah. for giving us a sneak peek. It's going to be amazing. Central City Opera starts this weekend with La Traviata. A few performances will also be hitting the stage in Fort Collins and Colorado Springs. All the notes are online at Central City opera.org.